Hello everyone, my name is Isa and welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday, it's the day before election day. Sorry if you hear the cars outside. Um, but I feel like it's gonna be a good day. I have a couple things I wanna do. I'm about to go to the gym actually because it just opened in my apartment building which is really nice. I'm gonna get some groceries at East Village Organic and they have this like garlic spread that I really love and this hummus that I love and I've only ever seen it there in New York so I'm very excited about that and then I have some stuff to do for my classes but yeah I kind of just want to get some groceries clean up a little bit I have my computer right here what's that and then I also haven't vlogged in a while, but I was intending to vlog this past weekend, but I didn't really. But I have some clips from when I was thrifting, so I'll insert those here. I went to a few really cool places that I really love in, the, in Manhattan, um, so yeah, I'll insert that right here. Yeah, now I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym and hopefully get a good workout. My first workout since like March, first gym workout. I kind of worked out on and off throughout quarantine, but nothing really consistent. So I'm excited to get back into the grind. back now from the gym it was so good I didn't go too crazy I did um, 15 minutes on the treadmill at an incline just to, like warm me up a little bit because I haven't like actually worked out since March and then I did some booty stuff and I was there for like 45 minutes um so it was really really great I'm happy I went I'm going again tomorrow and I'm just like taking it kind of easy. It's still challenging for me because I haven't worked out in a while. So I'm not like pushing myself too hard. My goal is to go at least three times a week, at least to start because I don't wanna be like, oh, I'm gonna go every day and then burn myself out and then not go for a while. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head out now actually to go pick up some groceries i just had avocado toast which was so good and i'm gonna go to this place called east village organic and it's like my favorite little grocery store slash juice bar but yeah i'm gonna go get some groceries and but i need to clean really badly I just got back from the grocery store and I thought I would do a little grocery store haul. I went to East Village Organic and it was a lovely walk. It's so nice outside. But I got a few things so I thought I would share. I picked up some kale and some baby lettuce, lemons and limes, green bell peppers, some whole wheat sourdough. I got these like things I've never tried before. They're these like packaged Cuban black beans and refried pinto beans and the ingredients looked really good and yeah I'm really excited to try that I got some garbanzo beans some bonza rotini 
because I just love rotini in general. And then I got this tofu and it's already cubed, which is so amazing. I don't have to cut it, I just have to drain it and then cook it. So, and the star of the show is this stuff. So these are like my favorite spreads ever. So this is the Majestic Garlic, delicious creamy garlic. And it's literally just like sunflower oil, raw garlic, flaxseed, salt, lemon juice. And it's really, really good. I have the basil one right now in my fridge and I'm almost out of it. So I got the original and then I got some of their Majestic Sprouted Hummus. This is the cilantro jalapeno flavor. I've never tried this one. I've only tried the original and it's so good. So I'm really excited about these. It's like my favorite things ever. I put this on crackers. I put it on top of like my pastas. You can even use it as your pasta sauce. It's just so fire. Okay, I just had some pasta. It's like my new favorite pasta recipe. I'll insert a picture of it here. I think in one of my first vlogs I talked about it. It's literally just vegetables, healthy, gluten-free pasta, and red sauce. And then recently I've been topping it off with that garlic sauce I got. And I have my sheets washing. I don't know why I'm trying to show it like this. But, so I have my sheets washing, so my bed's kind of ugly right now. I need to put these towels away and then wash my silk pillowcases. But, right now I'm actually going to head out and meet Mia at Tonkin Square Park because it's a beautiful day. And we both had a little bit of free time in our day, so I'm going to go meet her for like an hour. And then I have to come back and watch a documentary before my class tonight at 6. So... That's the plan. I need to grab my lip balm. And I'm gonna head out now. Good morning, it's the next day now. I had a really amazing day yesterday. It was just so lovely. I was walking a lot. I had a good workout and it was just great. But today is election day. I hope you've all voted. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. By the time I post this, we don't know what the state of the country is gonna be. So that's gonna be very interesting. But I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy. We're in a weird time right now. If you're in the United States especially, I feel like it's a little strained over here. Um, but I'm gonna actually go to the gym right now. I have a reservation in 15 minutes and I am probably just gonna do something kind of chill, maybe some treadmill stuff and some arms. I'm actually pretty sore from my workout yesterday. I did some booty and I feel a little sore. So I'm gonna go the gym now, I'm probably just going to stay wearing this sweater because I want to fix this nail right after. I just want to go to the salon and have them fix it because I broke it and I think they'll fix it for free because they give me like a little receipt card. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to go to the gym and then do that and then come back. I kind of have some schoolwork to do, which I feel like is kind of ridiculous. I feel like election day should be a national holiday especially this year it's very very stress inducing um but yeah so i'm gonna head to the gym i already went to trader joe's this morning because my cousin was going so i was like let me just tag along got a couple of things i already had my avocado toast and i don't really have anything else on the agenda today except for i have a class at 3 30 and then i want to watch the polls scary times but yeah, I'm just gonna go to the gym and release some stress and anxiety. It's the next day now. Um, I stayed up pretty late watching the polls, 
but I'm just chilling in my apartment right now. I made myself a coffee and I'm just gonna stay positive and optimistic about the results. We probably won't find out for a while. I know some states, or maybe just one, that hasn't been confirmed yet is allowing ballots to come in until November 12th, so that's a while from now. So. I guess we'll see what happens, but I'm trying to remain hopeful. I'm just gonna relax, drink my coffee, try not to watch the polls too much. I feel like if anything changes, I will definitely just get like a notification, you know? So I don't really need to be watching it. So I'm just gonna chill. I have a paper to write, just a small one that's due tonight. And yeah, I don't really have any intentions of leaving my apartment today. So I'm just gonna be cooking, relaxing. Um, and I had a gym reservation booked for 11 a.m., but I think I'm just gonna try to go later today. And, like, once I get, like, a little stir crazy. Yeah, I'm also getting my couch delivery today. I'm supposed to, so definitely vlog that. But, yeah, I'm just gonna chill here, work on my school stuff, drink my coffee. And, yeah. Go blue. So I just got my couch and for some reason they had it as curbside delivery. I don't know why. So my doorman and I had to bring up the huge boxes and I have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do about this. <laughs> it's like there's two huge boxes and now I'm kind of worried it's not gonna fit in my room. I feel like I have to bring the boxes into my room and undo it in there. So, it's gonna be a fun project for the day. So, I'm gonna set up my camera and we're gonna get to it. <laughs> you saw I got my couch in I'll show you guys what it looks like right now but I had to bring it up with my doorman to my to my apartment and unbox it all so I've been doing that for like an hour so I finally finished and I was literally like not even done with my coffee like I had just been like oh I'm gonna chill and my thing rang so But I'm really, really happy with it. But like my heart is racing because I was, I undid all the boxes and like the boxes are massive. So I had to drag them out of my apartment and down to the cellar. Oh my God. But I'm really happy. Um, so I'll show you guys. So this is what it looks like. I am so happy with it. Like, oh my God. And it just looks really, really nice. And I can link it down below. It's like the texture of it is a little bit grainy. It's kind of like a thick linen. But I think it's like it's comfortable, but it's not like cloud couch comfortable. But it kind of looks like it, which is what I wanted. Because I just love the look of it. Um, and I think I can take the covers off and wash them if I wanted to. But now I feel like I need to redo some parts of my room because it's really white in here. I have stuff on my bed, but like my couch... I mean, my bed is really white, and, like, I don't like those pillows anymore. I have to, like, get rid of this stuff so badly. Like, it's just been sitting here for months and months and months. So I just really want to, like, revamp everything. I want to get, like, a little wooden one of these for here. I want to do a different bedside table because that's not functional at all. Like, at all. And, yeah, I'm just going to bring in a little bit more warmth and wood in here now. But I'm really, really happy with how it looks. And it's really comfortable. And the light comes in right here, which is so nice. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. Also, if you're wondering why, why my hair looks kind of funky, I'm washing it today or tomorrow. So I put oil in it last night. But yeah, so I'm going to eat because I'm starving after unloading this massive couch. And... Yeah, but I'm really happy like with this, like my little plant, my couch. I would I can just like chill here. 
And it's so much comfier than my freaking lip couch that I have. is in my hair I have been working on my paper for a little bit and now what I'm gonna do is I have a gym reservation in like 40 minutes but tomorrow I'm gonna go with Mia to take some clothes to Buffalo Exchange so I'm gonna go through this massive bag of clothes that I've had sitting there that I want to get rid of that I just haven't gotten rid of yet so I'm gonna go through that and make sure everything is good to go and I think I'm just gonna put it on to like trash bags to take there so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm probably like I said just gonna walk on the treadmill for a while because I haven't left my apartment and I want to like get some steps in because I haven't really done anything to move my body except for unpack my couch <laughs> which was a bit of a workout to be honest so that's what I'm gonna do and probably listen to a podcast or watch some YouTube or something but yeah I'm gonna go through this and we'll possibly list some of it on my Depop so keep a lookout for that but yeah so I packaged up a huge trash bag for tomorrow and this stuff I think I'm gonna send to thread up. I've never done it before, but my mom has and she really likes it. So I'm gonna send that stuff there and everything's looking good. Got my couch, my bed. I'm gonna put my shoes on and head to the gym now. I'm having a very chill morning. I have been up for a couple hours now. I'm finishing up my coffee. And I just had some breakfast, avocado toast with smoked salmon. And I'm loving this couch so much. It's so comfy and like nice to just sit here in my room and relax. But um, Mia and I were gonna go to Buffalo Exchange today to sell some things, but they don't take same day appointments and you have to make an appointment now to sell so I think we're gonna go on Saturday but today on my agenda all I have to do is chill I have a class at 3 30 and then I'm gonna work out then I'm gonna wash the Olaplex out of my hair and blow dry it and style it and then that's really all I have to do today um yeah so I'll probably just be like doing some computer stuff editing this vlog um yeah and I'm actually wearing this sweater. I never wear it, but I really like it. It's this like really pretty cream color and it's like gold embroidered guess. I actually thrifted this at Metropolis, which is this really, really cool vintage thrift store. It's on Broadway now. It used to be somewhere else, um, but I first went there the summer before college with my mom when we visited New York right before I started school and I found it and I was like this is amazing and they have really really cool like Harley tees, they have band tees, they have like anything you could ever want and they have like duplicates they just have a ton of stuff and I haven't been there in a while so I kind of want to go but yeah I love this sweater so much and I think I'm going to start wearing it, wearing it again I love the sleeves how they're like really thin like it's just like a really unique sweater it does have some like stains on it um since it was thrifted but i really like it and yeah so it's really comfy i'm just gonna sit here and chill do some computer stuff drink my coffee relax it's been such a nice morning so far i kind of do want to go for a walk in a little bit but i don't know teacher finished class about 15 minutes early and we actually just ended up not even having class really we just talked about 
elections and anxiety and the way we're all feeling and our frustrations the entire class which was actually really nice just to have like to be able to talk to people and I don't know it was it was really helpful I feel like just to like see where everyone's at and that like we're not all alone we're all struggling with life right now so I'm excited to just chill right now um it's 4 35 and I want to wash and blow dry my hair today um and then I'm gonna like unplug tonight I feel like and just watch The Bachelorette um I think it's on tonight I don't want to like be completely absent from watching the polls but I'm sure if anything happens I'll be getting texts and snapchats from my friends about what's going on but yeah it's just such a stressful time right now I'm gonna post this video probably on Saturday so I hope everyone's doing okay I hope everyone's taking care of themselves I am finally done with my hair it took me so long to do um, but I just use my Revlon brush and then after I do each piece I twirl it really tightly and I hold it there for like a couple seconds and then I just leave it like twirled in the back and then I hairspray each side after it's done like after I'm done with this entire side of my head and then I comb my fingers through it and I feel like it comes out really really nicely I discovered this technique the last time I did my hair and I just like it I like my hair a lot more these days with a little bit of a wave to it and then my curtain bangs I just like blow dry them each the side that way but yeah that's the hair I'm about to head out for my internship but I thought I would share my outfit before I go um I really like it so this is what I'm wearing this cardigan is actually the only cardigan, the only thing I thrifted last weekend. And it's this like really beautiful green wool. And it's from the brand, I don't even know. Campus class. And it's 100% wool. So it might be a little warm, but it's all I'm wearing. And then these are the Molina pants from Aritzia. Um, so they look like they are so comfortable and soft. And I got a size four for reference. And then I'm just wearing my Air Forces. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Like maybe even like against a light backdrop or Son of Scranton and the daughter of immigrants are headed to the White House. 